Hello there and welcome to the Photo Plays YouTube channel. My name is Terry and today I am sharing this card that I created showcasing some fun products from the Sewa Stamps collection. This card is perfect for a coffee loving friend. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a closer look at the set. This stamp set is called Coffee and Friends, and it's so cute. You see the two hands of two friends together holding two coffee mugs. And the great part about this set is that it comes with three inserts of the latte foam designs, so you can switch that up if you like. Along with the cute foam designs, the sentiments are pretty cute too. Like this one here, it says, Coffee and Friends make the perfect blend, or Love You a Latte, how have you been? I think it's so cute. Okay, let's get started on the card. So to start off, I am using white cardstock. I did trim the cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I started off by stamping the coffee mug stamp onto the cardstock. I stamped this twice using an alcohol friendly ink in black because I do plan on using my alcohol markers to color the images in. So after stamping the first mug, I did rotate the cardstock around and stamped the second mug on the bottom half of the cardstock. I also went ahead and repeated the process again onto a second white cardstock. Now going in with some of the fun latte foam designs, I went in and stamped that into the coffee mug. I am using the same black ink here and I'm stamping it twice just to get a crisp image. And I did that to all four of the coffee mugs that I stamped earlier. Okay, so here comes the coloring part. The best part, I guess, for me at least. I love to color. But I know that coloring is not for everybody. So if you're not into the coloring part, I will go ahead and leave a time above and you can forward it to that time. So I'll go ahead and put some music here and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
after all of the coffee mugs has been colored in, I went in and used coordinating dies and ran that through my die cutting machine. Here you can see a third coffee mug image and it's the one here in yellow. I thought I was going to use this on my card front, but I decided not to. After die cutting all of the images, I went in with my white gel pen and I like to use the white gel pen to add highlights and details all over my images. I'm not doing anything too fancy here, just a little line with two dots here and there throughout the images. Now let's talk about the sentiment. I wanted to create my own word, so using the uni alphabet dies, I created the word coffee. And what I like to do is I like to die cut each letter several times and use liquid adhesive to adhere it on top of one another. So here you can see that I'm using Ultra Bond from ThermalWeb. And I'm stacking each letters together. I like doing this because it creates a lot of interest onto the card. Okay, so let's talk about the background. So the background, I am going in with white cardstock and I'm using a blending brush and blending some brown hybrid inks onto the cardstock. I started off using a light brown shade, then went in with a darker shade around the edges of the cardstock. Now, before I stencil, I like using the pixie dots and applying that onto the back of my cardstock. And then I like placing it onto my make art station. This one holds it in place during stenciling. So now going in with my pebbles and stone stencil, I place that onto my station and I'm using a darker shade of brown ink and blending that throughout the card panel. Before removing the stencil, I like to spritz some clean water onto the cardstock just to add a little more interest. Since I'm using a hybrid ink, it will react with water, so leaving a little bleached out effect. Now that the cardstock has dried, I went in with some of the smaller stamps from the stamp set and stamped that throughout the card panel. I am using two of the smaller coffee bean stamp and using brown ink to stamp that along the card panel. Okay, so the coffee bean was looking a little washed out. So I went in with some brown alcohol markers and colored in all of the little coffee beans. To create a little more interest onto the card panel, I went in with one of the border dies and die cut that out of our card panel. Then using a pattern paper from my neutral pattern pad, I decided to use the black and white stripes. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to create some sort of border effect here. So using one of my rectangle die in my stash, I went ahead and ran both of the cardstock pieces through my die cutting machine. Okay, so now let's go back to the sentiment. So I didn't want the sentiment to be stark white. So I went in using the same brown colored markers that I used earlier and I colored in all of the letters. I did somewhat of an ombre effect here. So I started off with the lighter shade on top and went in with the darker brown shade down on the bottom half. I went in with my white gel pen and added some line details onto the sentiment. I also went in and added line details to the coffee beans as well. So now it's time to assemble the card. Initially, I wanted to glue everything down onto a black card base, but I decided to change that up. You will see that during this whole process, I will trim that off 
and reattach it onto a black cardstock. So here I'm going in with some liquid adhesive. I am using Ultra Bond from ThermoWeb and adhering the pattern paper to the bottom half of the cardstock. And then going in with my coffee background, I adhered that on top of that as well. Okay, so here's the part where I decided to trim off the card base. Um, the reason why I did this was because alignment was really crooked and I couldn't fix it without tearing up the cardstock. So then I went ahead and just trimmed that off and I decided to reattach that later onto another card base. So now going in with the coffee sentiment, I am gluing that onto the card front. Okay, so for the coffee cups, I went in using liquid adhesive for the red cup. And then I applied foam strips onto the blue coffee cup to give it a little bit of dimension. So for the secondary sentiment, I am going with the sentiment from the stamp set. And the sentiment here has the word coffee in it. Since I already die cut the word coffee, I didn't need it on my second sentiment. So what I like to do is I like to use a masking tape, or in this case, I use the pink tape from ThermoWeb and I just mask the word coffee off onto the stamp, making sure not to mask off any other letters or words on the stamp. And then I would stamp that onto my ink pad, and before stamping it down onto my card panel, I remove the masking paper. I like doing this because it stretches out your supplies. Then I went in and adhered it to a side folding card base in black, and lastly, to add a little more drama into the card, I applied glossy accents all over the word coffee. If you're not familiar with glossy accents, it does dry clear. You're probably thinking that it looks awful here, but let it sit back for a few minutes and it should dry clear. See, this is how it looks when everything's all dried out. So this completes the card. I hope you found this tutorial useful and please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.